Today I'm going to show you how I made this. Hey Lila. Um, she's eating. Anyway, I'll do the intro while she's eating. What's up everybody? It's Garden Sound and Lila the bird who's eating her food. Not wanting anything to do with my shenanigans right now. Couple of things that I want to talk about before we get started today. Just real quick announcements. Just bear with me. Just, just, just bear with me. The first announcement is check out this freaking cool shirt. Um, this is made by a company called Basic Waves. These are exactly what I like to wear. They're very comfortable. Um, they're made out of 100% ring spun cotton. And they've got this really cool minimalist design. It's all the four basic waveforms. Uh, saw wave, sine, triangle, square. So um, this is this is not my favorite design. The, unfortunately, I, I did this backwards and I, I did a stream um, on Twitch. Oh yeah, that's announcement number two. Announcement number two, I did a stream on Twitch about this exact project. So if you'd like to see more information about this project and see exactly how I made it, like seriously, beginning to finish, um, that's available on my Twitch channel, which is linked below. And during that stream, I was wearing my favorite design by these guys that they sent me. Um, it's dirty now because I, I had to go ride my bike to the store and it got really sweaty because I'm a big man and I sweat a lot. Um, I watched a recent comedy special with John Mulaney and he talks about how when you get older you just start to sweat and become just damp all the time. That's 100% true. So if you're in your early 20s, you've got that to look forward to. Also, I haven't shaved in like a week. I don't know if you guys like this. Is this sexy stubble or is this too much stubble? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, you want to say hi now? You want to say hi? Come here, step up. Good bird. Lila's coming to say hi. Oh, are you dropping food on me? Say hi to the camera. Say hi. You wanna go back now? You just wanted to see what was up? Okay. Hey, here you go. Excellent. Today's episode is brought to you by Mikey Watson from Cape Town, South Africa. Go check her out in the description down below. She challenged me to make a song out of a sample pack of her making tea. She actually uploaded a pretty awesome tutorial, very quick, very concise, on her channel about how to record a sample pack with an iPhone. I cheated slightly because the, the, the samples were recorded with an iPhone. Very small diaphragm microphone. There's not a lot of bass content that I could pull out of these. So, the bass noises in this song were actually made with synthesizers, but everything else for the most part is a manipulation of the source material. And in order to explain this song to you, I'm gonna get Turbo Nerd. Turbo Nerd! Hey everybody, it's your boy Turbo Nerd. Here with some stuff to talk about with this song. And let's just, let's just get right into it. That's what Philip DeFranco says, I can't say that. Let's take a look at things. Let's just look at things. <laughs> oh man, I have not had enough coffee today. Are you doing Garden Sounds voice? Don't do Garden Sounds voice, do Turbo Nerds voice. Oh man, I haven't had enough coffee today. But Garden Sound, I don't understand why it's supposed to be like this. Why you gotta make a character? Why can't you just do it yourself? This voice kind of hurts my throat, so I'm just gonna do it normally, and you guys can pretend like I'm doing the Turbo Nerd voice. We've got a couple different. Uh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it anyway. So again, if you haven't seen my production stream on Twitch, I I made this song from scratch using samples from a sample pack that was sent to me. Literally, all of that was sample driven. The things that aren't sample driven are just these two bass groups and a and a sub bass right here. Those are the only things at the very bottom here that are not sample driven. So I want to show you what I did in depth and we'll just go from top to bottom here. So this kick drum that I've made, let's take a listen to it. Came from these three samples right here. Uh, D-Dum, Boxy, and Snap. Let's listen to these one at a time. This one has the most treatment. So what I've done is I've stuck it through um, a bit of a high shelf. Um, Transient Master, just for a little bit of punch. High Shelf, again, this time to accentuate the bass frequencies and bring down the high frequencies. Glue Compressor, so I could have more attack on it. And then Fab Filter Pro-Q, one more time, same High Shelf, which is a pretty standard kick drum. It's very muted, but that's because I wanted to add these two samples on top of it to get that Adam Young kind of layered sample effect, right? So this, this, is, my, this is the meat of the kick right here. And these two are just spectral additions. Now what I did, instead of using them in this manner, is I deactivated the group and I resampled this into kick so I could treat it just a teeny bit more with a multiband and a glue compressor and now I've got this kick right here. I think it's pretty good. It works for what I'm trying to do, which is mostly a chill wave type of beats. In context, the kick sounds like this.
Now, I've also taken one of those kicks and turned it into a snap sidechain signal. What this is, if you've never seen any of Mr. Bill's tutorials or any of my tutorials of late, um, is just one of the kick samples, but just, just really, actually I could do a better job with this. Yeah, better, better part of the spectrum here. There we go. Actually just improved my side chain live on camera with you guys. There we go. So it's just a very small, small, small noise. And the idea is that you have more control over a small noise in a side chain compressor than you do over just side chaining to the kick. You can tune your releases in your in your in your attacks more accurately. All right, then I made a snare using the same type of Adam Young layering. Adam Young is the lead composer for Owl City, if you didn't know who that is. Um, and uh, he uses this type of, of, uh, of layering um, method, and I really like it. So basically what you've got here is a four layer snare, I like a four layer bean dip. <laughs> These are just straight up samples that I, I have a little bit of processing on if you look at it. It's basically just Transient Master. Now, I have done a bit of return work, send return work, parallel compression, and reverb. And the reverb has the exact same ducking going on that the rest of the side chains are on the rest of the piece. So you get this really cool duct kind of gated reverb that you'd hear from Phil Collins. So I'm going to put the parallel comp and the reverb on just solo so you can hear what the returns uh, sound like that are added to these samples. And then I have these things called knocks, and these are just knocks the sample uh, from, from Mikey's sample pack, and I have pitched them using a sampler um, along with adding corpus, right? So corpus, you can use this to tune things. Um, and let me show you what that looks like down here. We've got the same side chain happening on the uh, group itself with a little bit of EQ just to make sure I shape it correctly. So then I have a couple layers of that happening down here in this group, just, just contrapuntal layers. Contrapuntal being an adjective made from the word counterpoint. And then I have um, this really cool pad effect from a boiling kettle sample. So that sample right there, I've turned into a pitched pad using the same corpus tuning technique. Um, I've got a little bit of distortion on it and we're just going to add these effects in one at a time. And just so you understand this, I have these layered, one's kind of more of a bass pad and the other one's more mid-rangey and highs. So let's add those in together. I've got a Saturn mono, so another distortion, and then um, Serum FX, which has a dimension expander on it. And then I'm putting it through a utility to convert it to mono. It's creepy, right? So that, that's, that's the pad effect that's happening in the background. Now let's move on to this, which is the same thing, all right, later on in the song, but it's using a really cool effect that my friend George showed me. This is a native Ableton effect. All that is is a resample of the lines above it using beats mode to chop it at a swung tempo. So the first thing you do is choose a groove. In my case, I've been using the MPC Swing 63% for this entire song, you use that along with changing the mode from tones, texture, whatever, to beats, and then setting the um, algorithm to preserve the 16th note, but only once through. Um, so basically, this is a form of grain sampling. And then what I'm doing um, is just reducing the grain size. Check it out. Did you hear the size getting shorter and shorter as we went down, thereby creating more of an attack and, and more space in the actual noise? There you go. The next sample we have is just a sample. I'm going to go through a bunch of these really quickly. Um, this one's called My Favorite. I had to use this one. If it's called My Favorite, I have to use it. So uh, check this out. 
just a dub ping pong effect. Um, that's using Ableton's Echo. Let's go down here to the slurp effect. This is pretty cool. Things what I've done here is I've resampled slurp um, using Valhalla. What was it? Using Valhalla um, freak delay. So it sounds like this. Check it out. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm using that as a riser, so like a slurping kind of riser. Um, then I have my fave, the same dub sample we heard earlier, but now I'm pitching it around using a sampler, as well as with some ping pong in six seconds. Sounds like this. Next, I've got a slurp again. This one is used at the very end of the song. So the next two samples are Foley, just for the very end of the song. I'm going to play them back to back. So it's pouring and slurping. It sounds like this. This is how I chose to end the song. The next thing is kind of a, a white noise, like riser effect that I'm using. And this is a sample of the kettle boiling. Uh, and what I've done to achieve this is use an auto filter, a little bit of reverb, a compressor to duck things and make it vibe with the rest of the song. Um, and then auto pan, so it doesn't get boring coming straight at you down the middle. Um, this sounds like this. Now, this next uh, group I've used as a lead into the trap section. So I have a halftime drop after playing around with this for about two minutes. I realized it was getting a little bit boring. Garden sound, I hate to, I hate to say this, but I've produced so much, um, like, trap hip hop type of beats in the last couple of years that it's become my style to have that like really gnarly grimesy kind of drop um and i'm okay with that so this leads into that right here do you see that it's just two samples really quickly they work together really nicely it's very rhythmic now some really cool stuff that i have going on here um are some are, are me messing with grain delay um with the drawing tool which is b in ableton you can just draw stuff in like this i um, really trying to get some random granular synthesis type of deals um, out of these pouring noises. Just some subtle background nuances so you don't get bored. Um, then next up are just some standard synthesis stuff. Um, we'll start with the basses as they come in. These are all things I made myself. These are not, um, these are not from the sample pack. But Gardner, that's cheating! This, that's, that's cheating, Gardner! You can't do that, it's cheating! Um, so here's here's what the first bass sounds like. It's just kind of a sub thing. Um, here's the second bass, and this one's more of like a melodic type of bass. And I'm doubling that up with another bass that's a little bit higher pitched, and that sounds like this. There you go. That's all those bases explained. And this is basic synthesis stuff. I don't really think I need to go into how these were made. Uh, then I have one final base that I made, and this is during the trap section. And it is just a standard trap base, but I did something special. So this is the sub base that I had showed you earlier. It was the first base we listened to. Um, sounds like this. The same exact base, but I sent it through Saturn. Now the problem with this is it's not punchy. And the reason it's not punchy is because it's MIDI and it's relying on attack and decay through software. And what you can do instead is flatten it and then chop it and it'll sound a lot punchier. See how it sounds a lot more round and punchier? If you're subscribed to me on Patreon, you'll be getting this entire project file will be uploaded. All of these patches and everything either frozen or um, stemmed out to waves. Um, via Patreon later today. So before I play this song in its entirety so you can listen to it, let me go ahead and say shout out to Mikey. Thank you for sending me the sample pack. Ben Burns is actually going to take a swing at this sample pack. Um, if you're not familiar with his channel, he's linked below as well. And uh, he, Mikey, and I are going to put out um, a release together, all using this sample pack. We're going to call it Internet T. All the proceeds from the sales of this release, all these songs that we've made, all the proceeds are going to be used for drought relief efforts in Cape Town, South Africa. South Africa, Cape Town specifically, and, and around that area, um, are experiencing an extreme drought. They need relief. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of charity work here, everybody. Um, I feel like I'm big enough now that we can actually make an impact. And I'm really glad that YouTube has brought me to a place where I can do things like this. Let's listen to this entire thing. And Mikey, I know I owe you a sample pack. I have to make one to send back to her. 
Um, but that'll be next week's video because I have a really cool idea and it's going to take me a minute to set it up. So thanks for your patience, everybody. Next week, everybody's getting a sample pack. Patrons, um, everybody on the on the channel, Mikey will be getting a sample pack too. Um, that's next week. But thank you all for watching today and let's listen to some music together. Turbo Nerd. Turbo Nerd signing off. Thank you.